The idea behind this build is to strike the same behemoth body part six times to build a recycle buff, wound the body part for the savagery damage buff, then use the god hand's special laser ability to deal massive amounts of damage. What's really amazing is that the god hand does not reset the recycle buff even if you laser different body parts. I am a fairly new player and I apologize for the mistakes and gaps in my build and I don't know if this is a good or a well-known build at all but I thought I'd share it anyways. If you are fairly new to Dauntless as well I recommend checking out my 49 tips for Dauntless video. These are the four main perks for this build. You can use whatever other perks or lanterns or omnicells you feel like. As I mentioned the point is to strike the same body part with the stabbing attacks of the warpike. You can use the slashing attacks, after all they build the weapon meter needed for the god hand ability much better than the stabbing attacks. However, there are two reasons why stabbing attacks are used instead. The recycle buff and the extra wound damage from barb helps to open up a wound not to mention actually using stabbing attacks which deal much more wound damage than the slashing attacks. Once the wound is open you will deal a hundred percent more damage to it with savagery and merciless helps keep the wound open for longer. The second disadvantage of using the slashing attacks besides the fact that it doesn't deal as much wound damage is simply the fact that it's much easier to accidentally reset the recycle buff. Hell, even with the stabbing attacks, it is very easy to reset the buff on some behemoths. Unfortunately, you must use the slashing attacks at some point to build the weapon meter efficiently. If you don't want to worry too much, what you can do is you can charge your weapon first by just ignoring the recycle completely, then start going for the wounding and uh, start paying attention to the recycle buff. You can even charge your weapon on a corpse from the previous fight if you want. If you are really good however, you can also skirt around the edge of the behemoth with the slashing attacks, only damaging one part at a time. 